Yum. The sound and smell of your favorite espresso being made. We all love the convenience of dropping in that pod and hearing your coffee being made. Unfortunately, it can still be upwards of over $1 per pod of coffee and your favorite flavors may still not be available. The good news is, you may have alternatives that will let you brew your favorite coffee at far lower costs. With regular Keurig K-Cups, you have numerous options. Unfortunately, with your Nespresso machine, you're far more limited But don't worry, I'm going to show you two effective, low-cost options for your favorite brew. Perhaps the most popular option is the Seal Pod. It's a reusable Nespresso pod. Now, these pods are for the original machine only and not the new virtual line capsules. The Seal Pod works just like regular pods in your Nespresso machine. The pod is made from stainless steel and it's pretty solidly built. What you do is you're just going to fill it with 5 grams of your favorite coffee. Pack it in and seal the pod with a sticker and then you're going to be good to go and you'll be able to use it. The seal pod starter kit comes with the stainless steel pod. It's going to come with 24 sealing stickers and it's also going to come with a coffee packing scooper. They sell additional seals for the pods in packages of 100 and it's about $13 for the pack. The stickers are quite good and they come with a handy tab that makes it easy to take it off the paper backing and off of the pod when you want to clean and refill it. The downside is it's still fairly expensive. My new favorite lids are the CNM foil lids also available on Amazon and they go for about nine dollars per 100. The cool part is they even include a new plastic scooper for you to use with every package. Uh, I know one of the things that seal pod does not. Um, If you lose it, uh, well, just order another pack and you'll get another scoop. And you can use any spoons you want, but the cool part about these lids is when you pack in the coffee, it fits perfectly. And I'll show you how to use that in a bit. Um, The only downside to these stickers, as opposed to the Seal Pod brand ones, is that these are perfectly round, so they just fit right on into the pods. And... They do not have a little tab that the seal pod ones do. Uh, So it's going to make those a lot easier to get off of the piece of paper. These you kind of got to hunt and peck. Uh, The cool part about these though is quality wise I like these a little bit better. Um, The ring, uh, this the seal that they use is quite a bit stickier so it hangs onto the pod and particularly if you reuse the original pods. Um, and they do stay on pretty well and they do seem to be a little bit thicker uh, and for whatever reason I'm getting a little bit better crema with these lids as opposed to the seal pod brand ones. More information and links on how to get the stickers or the seal pods are in the description uh, but they are available directly from Amazon. Now let me show you how it actually works. So Uh, What I'm going to be doing first is showing you how to refill the seal pod and one of the things that I found the best way of doing it. Uh, You can use your favorite coffee. Uh, Right now, actually, my tea of autumn bug we have, ooh, smells great, is uh, the Starbucks espresso roast. Uh, So what you're going to do, typically what I found is um, take a scoop, make sure that it doesn't get too dirty. Um, You're going to put one scoop in, pack it, not too tightly, uh, but pack it in so it's actually, it's right in there, so plenty of space still in there. Put the second scoop in. Now, depending on the coffee that you're using, uh, you're going to have to experiment a bit. Um, One of the videos that I found, and I think one of the things that works best for me, is to make sure that you're leaving about an eighth of an inch uh, of space available near the top of the pod and what that's going to do is that gives you a little bit better crema Um, but once again you're going to have to experiment it took me a bit uh, but with this consistency so the coffee's ground uh, very finely an espresso grind um, and leaving a little bit of space on top it's perfect so what i'm doing is i'm getting my stickers from the CNM foils. So this is basically what I mean because there is no tab sometimes it takes a little bit and here's actually an issue when you start taking them off it starts ripping off of the paper. 
but if you hold it with a nail, voila, it just peels right off. Now, once you have it packed in, just align it on top, once, twice around, and voila, your coffee is ready to go. Just drop it in your machine and enjoy your cup. Now, one of the issues obviously with this is that anytime you make a pot of coffee, you have to do this. Um, then you need to clean it before you make a second cup. Um, so one of the things that I've actually found while I was experimenting is you can take your original Nespresso pods and make them ready and you can actually refill these as well. And filling them is just, it's the exact same process. Pack it in. Capacity wise, we're almost identical. Um, I believe the original ones, they can take a little bit more. Uh, but for whatever reason, I will admit, um, the crema out of the original pods is actually a little bit better. So um, I know Nespresso is gonna want you to buy new pods all the time, but this way you actually get your favorite coffee. I wipe off the top. Uh, so same thing, I still have a little bit of space up top there. And this is what I mean. Sometimes it takes a bit. Voila. Now, um, these uh, lids are going to be better than the seal pod ones because for whatever reason, they have a little bit more stickier. So, if you, especially if you're reloading the original pods, these stickers are a lot better. And all right, and we're good to go. So here we go, and I just refilled the original pods. Um, one of the things I actually basically forgot to mention, uh, when you are reloading the original pods, um, what the process is, is make sure that it's clean. And uh, one of the things you actually see is, I mean, some of these have actually reused up to like eight or nine or 10 times, and they still work perfectly. Um, the only thing you need to do is just make sure that everything's pushed out before you reload uh, your coffee in there and voila. Now, um, the way to, so here, let's say for example, you have your original uh, Nespresso pods that you purchased, and let's say for example, you wanna make these usable and with your own stickers and with your own coffee instead of throwing them out. Uh, the very first time you use these, let me show you what you have to do. Uh, you're gonna need a thin knife and need to make them ready. So, right around the edge, just cut the foil, because the, otherwise there's no way of removing it. Cut the foil. And, so for this, actually I find it easier with the knife. and you get to see the original one. So then what you can actually just do is just round it out. Uh, wash it and then just basically with your finger press it out. Now one of the things that you are gonna find is that if you have old pods that uh, you just left there and they didn't dry properly. Uh, one of the things that you might actually see is, I use this one as an example, there's like a little bit of mold that starts towards the top. Um, that's usually not a problem because you're gonna cut that out, but um, one of the things I always do is on a reload of pods, I will check in the bottom to see if there's anything that looks like mold uh, starting to grow or not. And if it gets too bad or if it starts looking questionable, um, I just recycle those pods at that point. But otherwise you just reuse them and the coffee tastes amazingly well. Um, like I said, the, the trick to it and really where it's an art rather than the science is as to how much coffee 
and uh, what type of coffee, how much coffee that you're packing in there, and whether you're leaving a little bit of space on top or not. So that you're going to experiment, uh, but it's significantly cheaper. Um, so you can basically use your favorite coffee. Uh, we really like the Starbucks Espresso Roast. Um, you get a big one pound thing for right around $12 and usually they'll run in on sale. And uh, if you like uh, better coffee, so have a Starbucks Reserve. Uh, it's a half pound for right around 12 bucks. I mean, it's like uh, the most expensive ones are right around 24, but it's still a lot cheaper than paying a dollar, a dollar twenty or so for the original Nespresso pods, and the coffee is just as good. Thanks again for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Uh, please just uh, leave a comment. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I uh, look forward to hearing from your comments. Once again, you can find all of these on Amazon, and there's a direct link right in the description box. Thank you very much. Enjoy your coffee.